Welcome back everybody, Bully Neck here, and it is time again for the top five mods of the week. I don't want to waste everybody's time, time is precious, so let's get right to the mods. Here we go. Harvest Sprites is a highly configurable mod that adds two new items to the game. A Sprite Lamp and a Sprite Horde. Both items are fairly easy to craft even early game and make harvesting crops a breeze. According to the developer, not much is known about these trans-dimensional sprites. You can't see them or feel them, but they will happily harvest crops if you offer them some food, a little light, and a sprite lamp to live in. If you feed the sprites with high saturation food, they'll harvest more crops at the same time. The more health a food item provides, they'll harvest longer per piece of food. By default, the sprites will harvest a 9x9 area centered on the sprite lamp and up to 4 blocks above and below. Crops are automatically replanted, but the seeds must be initially planted manually or through some other planting mechanism. Sprite hordes within 5 blocks of the sprite lamp will collect the harvested crops. If there is no sprite horde within 5 blocks, the sprites will just drop the items on the ground. This is a very cool mod and it's very server friendly. You guys should definitely check this out. Harvest Sprites Tom Simple Storage Mod is a simple vanilla style storage mod. It's one of those rare gems that's managed to keep things both simple and extremely powerful. It adds four new items to the game, the storage terminal, inventory connector, inventory trim, and the open crate. The recipe for these are pretty affordable, the inventory connector being the most expensive, but luckily you only need one of these. The trim is going to be the piece that you're going to use the most of, and it is very affordable. You'll need to make a trip to the nether or set up some villager trading to get started with this, but honestly, I think most people could gather the required items from the nether within the first few Minecraft days of a world. The inventory connector has a range of 16 blocks in all directions, which is massive. Here you can see I set up a single layer of a storage system and I was able to fit nearly 3 million items. This entire setup only uses one connector and one terminal. The emeralds that you see are in the hoppers behind the chest and the diamonds are in the chest. I could very easily keep adding more layers to the system if I needed, but I can't imagine ever needing more space. This is a very cool solution to all of our storage problems that you can start building up very early on in your survival worlds. If you need a storage system that keeps that vanilla feel, definitely check out Tom's Simple Storage. Dynamic World is a mod that adds structures and features to your Minecraft world to make it more dynamic and alive. There's just something about stumbling across signs of life while you're exploring in Minecraft. It's exciting, and in this case, usually rewarding, with valuable blocks or custom loot tables. This mod makes exploring feel so much better. Whether you're out in the forest and nighttime is coming and you're not sure what you're gonna do, or maybe you got caught out in that unexpected rainstorm and you're just happy to find somewhere to get dry and warm and stay safe for the night. Not all the structures are somewhere to stay, some structures are actually there to help you get where you want to go faster. And some structures are really just there to get while the getting's good. I love anything that adds life to Minecraft and makes it feel more real. And Dynamic World definitely does that. Stronger Snowballs is a very simple mod that aims to make snowballs stronger by giving them additional functionality. If you hit a mob with a snowball, it will give a short slowness debuff, as you can tell by the particles. I've tried to debuff myself with a snowball, and it appears that either you can't debuff yourself, or it just doesn't affect players. Fiery mobs, such as magma cubes and blazes, will now take damage when hit by a snowball. Just a quick note, blazes already take damage without the mod, but the mod does increase the damage done to blazes from 3 to 4. Next up, we have the coffee mod, which is another very simple mod that brings coffee plants, a coffee machine, and most importantly, coffee to 115.2. As you're exploring, you may come across coffee bushes and plains biomes. Once you find one, if it's fully grown, you simply right click it to get some coffee seeds. Now you can either plant these seeds to make more coffee bushes, or you can roast them in a furnace to make roasted coffee beans. 
Finally, all we need to do is right click the coffee machine with the roasted coffee beans and it will start making us a delicious cup of joe. This is me every morning waiting for my coffee. Oh, it smells so good. When your coffee's ready, it'll spit it out the top and we can finally, finally drink our coffee. Oh, that's some good stuff there. And as you can see, whenever you drink a cup of coffee, you get speed two and haste for an entire minute. That's not bad for one coffee bean. That only cost us one coffee bean. You know, we are the only ones in this entire village that know about coffee. That gives me an idea. Here we are just putting these final touches on and there we go. We have our very first coffee shop. We're gonna be rich. Look at them, they're already lined up to the door. I better get in there, we're gonna lose all our money. Hello folks, how are you today? Very nice to see you here. Thank you so much for coming. Can I help you, sir? Cup of coffee? Sure we have coffee. Right away, these are some fresh beans too. We just roasted these, just came off the plant. Can I interest you in any of our pastries today? No? All right, we got two coffees. Here you go, sir. And can I help you, sir? Oh, ma'am, I'm sorry. Ugh. Can I interest you in any of our tasty pastries today? Just the coffee, there you go, on the house. I apologize for that. I'm sorry, guys, I gotta go. I am backed up here. I'm making cash hand over fist. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, do me a big favor and hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, maybe consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. Keep playing and keep having fun. We will see you guys next time. Bye.